Hey space lovers, welcome back to the final part of Blast Off, the Nat Geo Kids and Lego City show for fans of microgravity. I am Judaida Eisler, an astrophysicist. Last time we learned about daily life in microgravity. Now we're gonna see how you'll explore space and the surface of Mars using the most advanced technology in the world. But we're gonna need our favorite astronaut here. Jimmy Brickstrong reporting for duty. Wow, Jimmy, that was really prompt. Uh, you're looking comfortable. A real astronaut is always on time and always ready, especially since we're going to Mars. I cannot wait to get my tan on. Okay, that's great, but you know for your mission, Jimmy, you won't be landing on Mars. It's a research mission, so you'll be exploring it from a ship orbiting above the planet. But how will we explore Mars without actually being there? With a giant magnifying glass? Is that even a thing? Wait, was I supposed to bring that? <laughs> no, 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 you won't need that, but you will be using some pretty awesome gadgets for your mission. Okay, now you're talking my language. But what about my sweet tan? I can at least catch some rays from outside the shuttle, right? Not exactly. Perfect timing, there's Bob's training alert. Let's see if he can shed some light on all of this. Well, I think what Bob's showing us here is the effects of our atmosphere. Atmosphere is basically just the air around our planet. It keeps us all warm by holding in the heat like a big jacket. And at the same time, it protects us by letting in just the right amount of the sun's powerful rays. But in space, there is no atmosphere to protect us, which means that if you went outside when the sun is down, it would be minus 170 degrees. And you'd be instantly frozen like a popsicle. But if you went outside when the sun is out, you'd get the worst sunburn of your life. Let's go see what the pros do to stay protected in space. Space is one of the most challenging environments humans have ever traveled in. That's why we need amazing technology to travel and work there safely. For any missions into space, astronauts have to be able to go outside their spaceship to fix things from time to time. A real spacesuit is so strong, it can protect the astronaut from the super harsh environment outside the ship while they do their work. That's so cool. I'll take one of those suits, please, and maybe a spare. Do they come in yellow? Well, they're basically a human-shaped spacecraft, and they cost about $15 million each. Okay, that's a lot of money. Does it come with its own bathroom or something? Well, kinda, yeah. Astronauts have to wear a super high-tech diaper under their spacesuit. Some spacewalks can last up to eight hours and there are no restrooms in space. But that's just one gadget. Scientists and engineers are always inventing new machines and devices to help astronauts go even further on their missions, like the Mars rover and the Mars helicopter. These are the latest space gadgets being developed by the best engineers in the world. Please tell me I get to drive that thing and fly that other thing. Well, let's hope so. These are just prototypes, but who knows what amazing gadgets you'll be taking with you on your mission. Maybe you can even invent some of your own. Wow, so much awesome tech, so much awesome stuff to see. I can't take this anymore. Am I ready? You know what, Jimmy? I think you are. Yes! Yes, yes, and yes again. Thanks to Dida. I've learned so much from you and Bob. I won't let you down. Bye, Jimmy. I wish you many amazing space adventures. And all of you space lovers out there, thank you so much for coming with us on our mission. Hopefully you're all feeling inspired and excited to learn even more about Mars and outer space. Until next time, ad astra, which is Latin for to the stars.